Angular V18 is here. And besides the big updates, there are a lot of great little features, bug fixes, and incremental improvements to help you and your teams build the next generation of web apps. Emma here from the Angular team, and I'm going to tell you about the great features launched in this release. Let's do this. Angular V18 is shipping with new APIs to further improve the developer experience in the framework. First up are our new signal-based APIs. In V17, we introduced Angular Signals, a system that granularly tracks how and where your state is used throughout an application, allowing the framework to optimize rendering updates. Now, we're on a path to fully signal-based components, and this release contains some of the building blocks developers will need to make that happen. First, we're introducing signal inputs. Signal inputs allow values to be bound from a parent component. Those values are exposed using a signal and can change during the life cycle of your component. To help developers have a better time keeping data in sync with two-way binding, there's the new model input API. Model inputs are a special type of input that enable a component to propagate new values back to another component. When creating a component, you can define a model input similarly to how you create a standard input. Both types of inputs allow someone to bind a value into the property. However, model inputs allow the component author to write values into the property. In other respects, you can use model inputs the same way you use standard inputs. We know that developers have long wanted a type-safe, reactive way to interact with content children and view children in templates. We heard you loud and clear, and that's why we've built the new Signal Query APIs. The new approach exposes query results as signals, which mean that query results can be composed with other signals using computed or effect, and drive change detection. Additionally, the signal-based query system offers other benefits, like more predictable timing, simpler API surface, improved type safety, more accurate type inference, and lazier updates. The underlying query mechanism doesn't change much. Conceptually, Angular still creates singular child or plural children queries that target elements in a template or content. The difference is in the type of result and the exact timing of the result availability. These features bring V18 closer to our goal of signal-based components, but we're not stopping there. As Alex shared, V18 includes an experimental preview of Zoneless Angular. He did a great job sharing how we're thinking about the future developer experience of Zoneless Angular and why our eventual goal is to make Zone.js fully optional but we know that you want to see some code. V18 includes some incremental improvements that allow you to explore removing zones in your code starting today. Zones event coalescing is on by default in V18, and zone coalescing uses the same scheduler as zoneless. Angular with Zone.js can be configured to schedule change detection even when the changes happen outside the Angular zone. This takes advantage of the zoneless scheduler in existing Zone.js apps. And Angular material components in the CDK are zoneless compatible. Zoneless is available as experimental in V18. To learn more about experimental zoneless support, head to our guides on angular.dev. But that's not it. Here are some quick hits that are sure to make developing in Angular better. Developers can enjoy the latest features of TypeScript 5.4 in your applications. Update now for preserved narrowing enclosures following last assignments, the no infer utility type, and a lot more. You can learn more about what these all mean in Microsoft's blog post announcing TypeScript 5.4. Also new, developers can now provide a default value for ng content. This allows you to have a placeholder for empty lists and other components with no current content. And what's that? We've closed our number one most upvoted feature request on GitHub. Angular Forms introduced a new global observable you can subscribe to 
to track changes around any abstract control and its children. You can now track all kinds of events like touched, dirty, etc., in addition to value and status, all through a single observable. You know what's even cooler? Most of these featurettes actually happened in a minor lease leading up to today. That means you don't have to wait six months for the next enhancement to your Signal APIs, another step towards zoneless, or one of your top voted issues being resolved. We've been talking a lot about the future of Angular, and you can find out more about what we've been working on by heading over to our public roadmap at angular.dev roadmap. Be sure to ng update and check out our full change log on GitHub for each and every feature, fix, and enhancement in V18.